First game mode up is called Flash Wars. I'll just let this one explain itself. Do you take damage when flashed? <laughs> it was pretty buggy sometimes because you were supposed to have 1 HP, but for whatever reason, sometimes you wouldn't. What determines you to get 1 HP? Because I'm 100 HP right now. I'm 100 HP, come here, bitch! But other than that, I'd definitely try it out. Next game one we got is called Duck Hunt. Now, I have no idea how I never heard about this one before, and I think we kind of got a shitty map, but the whole concept of the game mode is pretty damn fun. Basically, one team just has snipers while the other is trying not to get sniped and to make it to the end of this obstacle course. Pretty similar to Death Run, but it definitely has its own twist. Where did it come from that everybody calls the orb a sniper? Oh, jeepers. He's coming from Valorant, is it that? It's casters all of a sudden, I swear to God, casters didn't used to say uh, uh, sniper. Now simple with a sniper on A. Hey, no way. Oh, am I tripping? I don't know. Go, Robly. Go, Robly. I'm afraid, bro. I don't go, Robly. <laughs> go, Robly. Flashbang out. Sadly, the map was not too good. It was really imbalanced. <laughs> we tried out a couple different roles, like no op. No. <laughs> no. Only two snipers. No scopes only. It was just way too imbalanced. If you're gonna try this wow. out, I'd definitely look for a better map, but it was still pretty fun. Looks like Death Next run. up, we got Squid Game and CSGO. What wow. is this shit? This is actually like insane. What the hell? This one definitely isn't unknown, but come on, we had to try it. And it was really impressive as well. It had custom animations, sounds, models, but honestly, the only fun we really had was on the glass game. Oh. Am I the only one that hasn't watched Squid Game? <clears throat> I don't watch series. I don't watch Netflix. Congrats I feel like I shit though. The new subs. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh fuck! I ah, uh, uh, I gotta start binge watching some stuff. <laughs> you should have listened. Oh shit! You can. Um, I think I'm too ADD. TikTok fucked me. I rather put on instead of watching a two-hour movie, I put on 12 10 10-minute YouTube videos. Oh yo yo. You can body black people. Or a thousand talks. You already know. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Oh, gold out. Oh, no. oh. Okay, Roby, it's on yeah. you, bro. Here we go. Go right, right, right. Trust me, trust me. All right, all right, all right. Okay, le left again, left again. All right, all right, all right. No, no, not right. Left, right, right, left. Uh. Right. Oh, this is well made. <laughs> I got it. Oh, this is it. And somehow the only European we had in the match managed to win. <laughs> Did you backstab him? Dude, the guy with almost 200 ping just won. Next, we got something called Molotov Game Mode. I don't really have to explain it, but it's just Molotovs and knives. A bunch of chaos, but I wouldn't really recommend it. <laughs> that, look, that looks horrendous. And then after that, we had something called Nade Backyard, which was basically the same thing with grenades and somehow worse. That's cool. If you're Nade Tennis. We've seen it in the Nade King challenge as well, no? If you're a fan of Chaos, then maybe the Molotov and this Nade one are good for you. Moving on to Dodgeball. This is like if all of those grenade game modes ended up being good. This one is a classic. I have no idea how I forgot about it, honestly. But pretty much each team has decoys and 1 HP. And the cool thing about it is the decoys, once they hit the ground, you can actually pick them back up. But I guess over time, the game mode got a bit buggy because you're not supposed to have guns. But I should just fucking shoot you guys. Fuck this. And sometimes when the decoys were supposed to spawn back on the ground to be picked up, they just end up spawning outside the map and then you'd have nothing left to throw. I think I just saw that one go through the wall. <laughs> but I'd definitely try this one out. <laughs> Next is Western Massacre. This one we spent like an hour playing. I have no idea how. But at first it seems good. Horses, revolvers, hostages. What more could you ask for? Except you can crash those horses. Uh -oh. <laughs> Camp in buildings. Fuck you, uh -huh. He's in the building. He's in the building. Or use a completely broken Gatling gun. <laughs> what the? Wait. I got a game mode to recommend that my six-year-old friend that I met in Danger Zone showed me. If you remember, you remember. He all of a sudden invited me to a lobby after we fucking won some Danger Zone, and he invited me to a fucking zombie mode with his friend, with his Russian, uh, Ukrainian friend. Um, and uh, they, they kept wanting to play the same thing, even though we finished it. Jesus. If you know, you know. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I got in a fucking the fucking horror house. <laughs> it was fun to fuck around on, and yeah, I probably would recommend it. Dude, he ran him over! Is this blow up? Watch out! Oh! Dude! 
Oh, he just got a collat? Did he get a collat? And then next is Spleef Arena. If you're familiar with Minecraft Spleef, it's basically that, but 10 times better. Each team would randomly start out with different grenades like Ooh. Molotovs or HEs, and the goal is to destroy the platform underneath them or kill them with the grenade. Some rounds they would even give you bump mines or medi shots, which would actually give you a speed boost. I don't know. This shit was really fun, though. I definitely recommend this one. Boom, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. Grenade, bitch. <laughs> a very common game mode is the mini game game mode. Of course, the game mode MG is really just an umbrella term for a ton of different types of maps. But the problem with MG is that 99% of them are going to have copyright music blasting in the background that you cannot turn off. So sadly, most of the ones I played, I actually can't show here. But we still did find a good one that you could turn the music off on. This one was pretty cool because at the start of every round, somebody knew had a chance to race up to the front to pick out the next game mode. But this one that's sadly sick. didn't have a ton of them. But the ones it did have were pretty fun. The next game mode we had was Knife Arena. Now, I'd actually surprisingly Bro, never heard of- one game mode chat that I saw Dima Wallhex play on stream that looks so fucking sick. Combat Surf. There's Surf fucking, uh, uh, um, like, um, ramps everywhere, but you have uh, weapons, and then it's like um, deathmatch or whatever. Mm, and if you fall down, you just, like, spawn on top again, and it's, it's you're super fast, it's super fucking action pace, bro. You got RVPs and stuff. Boah. At this one before. It looks sick. It is kind of an OG one, but the one we played on was pretty much just a moving train and a knife fight. It was some simple fun, but I'd definitely recommend it. Oh, oh, that's real bad. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, this looks oh, sick. God, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, After that, we played something called Truck Wars, but sadly, ah. the driving is not that good anymore. Sometimes it would bug out and you'd stay behind in the car, but the times it did work, it was pretty damn fun. One team has to drive towards the other team's building where they can set up defenses and they have to guard this tanker. The team attacking has to get that tanker and take it back to their spawn, but the entire time we played, nobody actually managed to get to the tanker. We just all killed each other, but just that itself was pretty damn fun. <laughs> Ah, nice AK crafts. That's a W. This <laughs> Mad Max bitch. Oh shit! Get his ass! Get his ass! Get his ass! Get his ass! And then lastly, we have one called Race City. I don't know if this one would really count as a game mode, but it was pretty fun, mainly because I won. But it's just a normal racing map. A lot of the other people ended up getting stuck, so I guess their driving experience was a bit worse than mine. And halfway through, a random plane flew into a building. This plane just ran- what the fuck? Into a skyscraper! But that's all the game modes we could find for this video. Obviously, there were some other ones that I probably didn't include in this video because they were either too boring or too long. But if you really want to check them out, you could probably see them on my VOD on my Twitch. And if you do want a chance to be in another video like this, then make sure to check out my live streams. I will- Cool deck. Next, on our channel, Twitch best moments, reactions as fresh as they come, investment tips, and giveaways. So, you know what to do to not miss it.